listening to Accent on TV. Best of Poland and Europe. Right here on LA Talk Radio. Hello. <laughs> Red buttons are off. We can talk. Ilona Europa, your host. What can I say? 2015 is bye-bye. But this is one of the bestest things that happened to me. I have my own uh, show on a camera and in a radio station, radio station that has own video channel. How hot is this? <laughs> and of course, Accent On is uh, named right now a TV show, the best of Poland, Europe, and the rest of the world. And I'm always trying to bring the coolest people that I know around. Uh, normally, we have somebody sitting in this place and pushing buttons, and I can focus more on my... Uh, about my guests and talking to them, maybe laughing and have fun or just having live musicians uh, with us and singing and screaming with them. That's <laughs> even funnier. But what can I say today? I feel empowered, like I said, <laughs> powerful woman. I have amazing, powerful woman who looks like me. People, if one day I'm not here and she's here, it still doesn't matter. We love <laughs> each other. That's Eva. Eva. Hi, Eva. Hello, Ilona. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing fine. I'm so happy to have you. What is your second name? Uh, Eva Gajewska, proudly. Proudly uh, in Polish, yes. yes. And in America? Well, and I could also add to it, I should, Eva skarbek Kozietulska. You have many name names, oh, I of understand. Of my incredible husband. He always laughs when I said my current husband. Oh. <laughs> but, <laughs> no, he's uh, it's actually a very noble, very historical Polish name and uh, okay. belongs to a very special man. But who also is traveling in space with me. Just you like are just traveling with uh, your husband. <laughs> We in are space building California Space Center together as a, uh, well, uh, I believe that space is a new frontier, not only in a, a Hollywood sense, you know, incredible success of, of a Star Wars, but as an industry, which is wide open, there are only a few couple of guys who are doing uh, some very cool rockets, but space is so much more. And uh, space in my world includes a plan and actually in action to build California Space Center next to Vanderberg Air Force Base, which I uh, suspect that some of your viewers, just like I did, did not know that we have incredible rocket launch uh, location here in California. And I it's totally neglected. No one knows <laughs> about it. So this okay. is where I'm going to do it. We just started the show and now we have this beautiful lady talking to us about stuff that normally we almost don't talk out loud <laughs> on the media. Because uh, Cosmos, Space, mm -hmm. Sputniks, uh, Doggies, 1960s, uh, there upstairs and flying and, and very big, uh, of course, uh, uh next you know project that america practically every every few months putting something into air i'm sure but, but we don't know often. that yeah we don't know we that. don't know exactly. that uh, why we don't know that and why young people are not excited uh, about cosmos well, about space uh, about new programs this you know, is excitable but nobody's talking about that's uh, that's exactly a conclusion that i reached and just like everybody in this room we are questing not only for another business or project we are questing for something incredibly huge yeah. Uh, that has a legacy, so I decided to make a difference by p applying my technology, business experience, global connections, and entrepreneurship that is so uh, unique to this country and to Poland to devote it to creation of the space industry that doesn't exist yet, which includes ability to use media to make what you said, Ilona, space approachable, attractive. For young people and for, for all of us, older people that really, uh, we grew up on this topic and yes. we were uh, glued to, the to TV screens and and right. uh, there was something above and beyond. And this is the place that we still don't understand is magical. It's just lovely. I will play a few seconds of my song because many years ago I was obsessed with uh, space and mm -hmm. I wrote a few songs. One of them is Orbis with, Jen uh, with Jerry Jones. But uh, And I was working with a lot of people who create uh, lots of shows and unusual instruments who are like out of this world and everything sounds a little cosmically, clearly, correctly or incorrect. It's just, yes. it's so much that we don't know. And I think youth need to get interested back 
So one topic. of the things that we are doing, and uh, Michael is also part of it, is developing the media platform that actually Grant uh, with the team in Poland and uh, Los Angeles is developing because we need to have a control over creation and distribution of very exciting content, which will come from space, which will come also from NASA, which has incredible amount of uh, uh, space, but uh, to which we will also invite incredible artists <laughs> like Christina. Because Who will be soon virtual actors. Yes, in a movie that you'll be producing. And an Michael. Oh, my gosh. But okay. it's a destination, it's a location. It's not only Vanderberg. We are taking it, also bringing it to Los Angeles. I've been uh, doing it for almost three years. Yes, I met you two years ago, and you were talking on uh, LA Talk Radio. Uh, about your idea yes, that you know you reality, want to open yes. this amazing uh, space that will talk uh, and it will be entertainment also. Yes, you know, like with concerts. It. Can you Co imagine NASA rocket designed to launching go into rocket Mar in March? Uh, yes, it's the date has been modified, but the concept it's going to be this rocket or the next rocket, the actual NASA rocket taking off in the background. Where in the front we have artists performing songs. And speaking of uh, benefits, uh, I believe that it's a time also to unite and fundraise for American space program because NASA's budget is being cut. Wow. And if there is yeah. a mission I have is to use influence relationship and empowerment to make sure that uh, our country has a space program, which we truly deserve. We this have is to something hitchhike. serious. Yes, it's yeah. important. We hitchhike with the Russians to get to the space station. Wow. We Americans. Yeah, there wasn't Should like that like many, that? many years ago. It's just really something's awkward. But I think uh, your idea of uh, bringing the idea of uh, an entertainment center and talking about space and launching, uh, you know, star rockets to to the cosmos in March this probably will happen and you try you are trying to put great show also together and hopefully I will be um, helpful and bring a few of people that oh, I good. know of uh, with, with very unusual abilities to entertain people on a higher level yes. than nobody so really there then we will be having hopefully Saturday or whenever we set up the appointment with Jim Holtz Hi, I'll talk to you. I will bring you to the uh, LA Talk Radio gym too, and we'll be talking about amazing people right. that visited you and used your technology, um, the space technology, sp space technology. Okay, uh, Eva, I'm coming Let's back to you because you and I can talk and we will probably talk and talk and talk about everything, starting from your great shoes. I wish I can show the big, big <laughs> and heels. But oh, she wants to talk what business. What's important okay. is space is also a fashion. So you yes. probably have noticed my jacket, which was designed by a Los Angeles designer with whom we are launching Space Fashion Company. I want one. Space Hustle. Designed Space by Dwayne, and I am promoting him. I am not promoting myself, but I am promoting the talent yeah. that is here in Los Angeles that I also want to elevate to the higher value financially because so many artists are undervalued, underappreciated. Oh, one of the that's the I want to do another is platform that you're doing. Valley abundance People, I don't know if you're following uh, what Eva says. She, Eva has a um, few different uh, unusual ideas which they are already going forward it's not only ideas i want i want i will maybe it's not this woman really what she's talking about she's doing that's that's what is so exciting because she's originally from poland and she lives here for probably 30 years she's very successful a businesswoman and silicon valley you know guru in a way one of the first ladies who shook up this uh, you know good business um intelligent business but now you have another i can call this business slash entrepreneurial slash hobby slash volunteering slash a mission slash something bigger than life but passionate passionate woman and you brought to the studio somebody uh, very very important for yes. our country and i will say we need to give you a special introduction what is your name and close the microphone michael so some space for media now for media and and the movies right <laughs> yeah you know but you are coming from europe you are coming from poland and i think poland is one of the hottest country right now in the world things that ha are happening in my country is above and beyond for a lot of people to understand this is a really really uh, fast forward country with everything and we had always very smart 
people. You are Italian. You are belonging to us. Yes. We let you, Cristina De Rosa, our beautiful artist and actor and model and singer. We'll talk to her too. And she understand my passion for my beautiful uh, visitors today. They are from Poland. And I'm like, ah, my people. Anyway, but okay. Michał, Michał Lisiecki, you are a name, brand name in my country. You are getting outside of the country into America uh, public and me media ears and eyes. Uh, and I'm hoping people will fall in love with you. Your unusual brain, your courage, your vision for not only what uh, Polish news purpose publishing economical newspaper need to be like the truth behind uh, money and politics and dangerous world of politics and money you are men of your words you are very young gentlemen 39 year, 39 yes no 40 i just want you almost, to be 40 almost. already is enough starting wearing so glasses is coming, so. after 40 everybody huh? you cannot see nothing you know but uh, then I, I just want to give you maybe two minutes. Uh, I can talk about you. I read your bio. It's so impressive. And I know that Eva, somehow you and Eva just work beautifully together. You have very similar vision. It's just not only about Space Center. It's just also about media. It's also about machine. Very unusual uh, publishing uh, newspaper who in 2016 will be relaunched and is relaunched uh, i think uh, by three people yes three people that i have two people that i have here plus your son you are owning this newspaper yes T three of you you yes, yes it's you called, it's called machina uh, machina it used to be one of the best uh, uh, european uh, the strongest brands in, in um, pop culture uh, well, it's gonna be relaunched. It's gonna be all video, all um, uh, digital now. Uh, it's it's not only pop culture. It's movie entertainment. It's design. So we will bring the legacy of the brand to to US. Uh, and L LA is the best place, definitely. And it will to, be two languages because obviously uh, the Polish language will well, be we, we in start, Polish. We start English. with English, so it goes international, like and that. then and then we'll uh, modify it to different uh, wow. languages around the uh, around the world. But uh, hopefully the LA. And uh, you are an owner. Yes, so I'm. <gasps> with now with the, my partners, with Eva and Grant, uh, we are partnering on this venture to start it. So so 2016 launching in LA. Uh, the newsrooms are, are to be opened also in London, Berlin, and, and Warsaw. So we hope uh, it, it will go. Uh, you never think small. You think always powerful. big and mm. global, which that's only one way I think how uh, people need to think right now. But you need to have yeah. outside of the idea, you need to have a courage, have a money, have a education, because I'm telling you, people, this man is highly educated. You have like a few good schools that you finished. Could you tell us a little bit about them? Well, uh, the most important, I would say, was the, the high school in Richmond, Virginia. So ah. I started in... The, ah, uh, that's okay. I, I had a chance to, to you know, to uh, get Look. a bit of feeling how the U.S., how, how people here are entrepreneurial, how they think big. And uh, with, with this knowledge, I went back to... Uh, through Europe, I studied. I uh, I love read biographies. They inspire me. So the two important ones for me was the Rupert Murdoch story, how a young Australian guy uh, opened an uh, Australian company and then a um, UK-based company, and then he conquered uh, US media, right? And uh, <laughs> so that was very inspiring. And the other was Richard Branson's story. And the Virgin Group started out of a student magazine called The Student. So I, I, I did the same. I went back from London, where I was studying, to, to Poland, and I started... Uh, the, the, the magazine called Why. It was uh, during my first uh, of st uh, year of studies, and uh, I did internship in uh, in the largest Polish weekly, most influential uh, weekly magazine. I asked owners for investment. They did not invest, so I bought the magazine of 15 years okay. later. Yeah, and it's time like it's Newsweek like. It's uh, a weekly magazine, weekly and, magazine, and I'm yeah. everybody quotes this magazine, and it's a very strong, uh, recognizable magazine in Europe, and you have. Gosh, you are saying the truth that some people will never say it. And you also claimed that you did something in 2015 that scared people to death and you changed a little uh, politics in Poland. You are the one who people are supposed to be afraid of because you can well, media, bring media from the under table. You call media, but still it's you. You are the man behind the Frost magazine. Tell us about this. Uh, yeah. We love this story. How many hours of unusual tapes they were released that 
So there was 800 uh, hours of tapes. We, we've played just some of them and uh, maybe 10, maybe 12, but that was enough to change the government uh, once you pick up what's important. America, how, be careful. How He's coming here. <laughs> with, with our money. Yeah, that's true. We are coming here. I think that the journalist has to also uh, change the way it's done. So it has to go to, to the basics. Basically, it's not about disputing. It's not about money making. It's about... Uh, telling the truth, which is not always easy to, to, to discover. You, I see movie in making. I see movie yeah, and you have time well, to course. play in this movie. You are <laughs> a really good looking gentleman and you didn't finish that. You finished some very known uh, school bi business school. Um, Please. Uh, yeah, but uh, yes, <laughs> of course, I, I studied in the uh, in US. I studied in London. I studied in Poland. So it was uh, education is always important. Okay, Everybody needs to go and uh, read a whole bio of uh, Mr. Lisiecki because I post uh, all information about him on Accent On and Accent On TV, the best of Poland and Europe. Then I know it's just uh, in a way you are shy, but you are not because 800 tapes and changing uh, political direction in my country that changes political direction in Europe because this Poland, very important country in the middle of the Europe, always changes everything around. And now uh, it's not that you have flamboyish or you are like, hey, hey, I did this, I did this. No, no, no. I know there is a reason behind the truth and you want to speak the truth. You want to create a magazine that uh, probably will be and is the strongest one in Europe right now. Now you have the media, uh, the machine, a uh, machine uh, newspaper, which uh, will be in English and will be launched in Los Angeles and will be about lifestyle, will be about uh, probably film and music and streaming and what is the hottest, what is the best. I don't even know people how you approach uh, Hollywood and how you approach business people who think that they have this in their packet. Uh -huh. And now is somebody new coming from Europe and say, hello, well, and we have an idea. The other brand that we have that, that we didn't uh, discuss yet oh. to launch, but but we'll most likely do it a year later, is the, the film, the magazine called Film, and it's the oldest internationally yes. oh. made magazine it's from 1954, so uh, that's okay. the oldest brand uh, ever published around the world uh, for that long. Wow, and you bought well, it? We, yes, I bought it also. It okay. was one of my I just loved it. Actually, I bought, I started the student magazine, but the, all, all the others I was simply buying from uh, from owners that that mismanaged the the, the ventures. So. Okay, Michael uh, was uh, in age of sixteen. I think you decided with two thousand dollars, yes, uh, do something with this two thousand dollars, and you you invested. You lost a thousand, and that's what you were saying on accent on. And then, like I said, your genius way of working with money until today seems like it's working well for you. You mentioned something that 2015 was not easy for you, yes? You al also lost some money. We don't want oh, yeah, you to only be successful uh, all the time. Uh, Come on, need to be down U and up. In the US, uh, oh. most likely playing uh, tapes uh, uh, would, uh, would make you a billionaire yes. uh, with the sales, oh. with, with uh, all people who would support you. But in Poland, we, it, it costed us a lot. I lost 40% uh, of incomes of my company because of doing that. So it yeah. was hard play with the government. Um, uh, and, and Poland is a much smaller country, so you can influence yes. business very uh, strongly. And, and block we were blocked in many cases, issues on the money, on incomes, on advertising. Uh, and, and also, we were the only one, I think, fighting for truth, because all other uh, media was, uh, I would say, fighting for the government, fighting for money, so they didn't want to support us, they didn't want to go deep into the story and it was like Watergate story, right? Yeah. So you want a story, you wanted yeah, the yeah. truth. So, so playing a Watergate wow. story, if there was only one magazine uh, telling uh, the truth and all the other were, were in opposition, it's hard to believe that we are right. But somehow it... Uh, Did it you it listen to 800 hours? It, and no, no, we, we've just uh, chosen the, the most uh, important ones. And there's a lot of private talk, a lot of things that, that you wouldn't play. We need to put this yeah. on the tape. We need to listen. Yes to this man. I really think uh, from American point of view, this is like movie story. Yes, Christina yes. De Rosa. And uh, I want all of us to know Michael a little more. And I'm hoping this show will bring him. He's mine right now. He's accent on. He's accent on the best of Poland and Europe. Then uh, we need to listen because the things that are happening in Europe, they are just 
straight from the movies and is a reality, we are not talking scripted reality, we are talking reality, then we are very proud to have you here. I know you, you are coming and going, you are in New York also, you are doing outside of publishing, outside of working with Eva on a space center, which again, I'm, when I'm looking at a sister of mine with little shorter hair, I'm <laughs> like, where to even begin to, okay, I want to sp- go to the space i wanted to create big entertainment i want to release and have a big show when we have racket in march yes re- well uh, the, the date space. is uh, controlled by nasa and its partners and unfortunately there might be a delay in the launch of god the thank you maybe you need a little more time uh, what do you think but <laughs> it calls even for more devotion and commitment yeah. to create a spectacular event, event and concert we are already talking to some spectacular celebrities uh, to invite to be a part of the concert to call attention to need for the bigger space program in our country and what you were talking about engaging young people of our country to be passionate about space again. I know we are talking to USC and UCLA a lot too. Do you see the young people, young students uh, are relying uh, and they just they can see that this is something that they want to be part of it? You know, uh, whenever I walk around with my NASA jacket, I have people approaching me and saying, how cool, what a great jacket. Yes. I, You know, NASA, oh, I love NASA. Yeah. I think this That's is one simple. of the biggest brands. But also, uh, I would like to mention something about space industry, why it attracted me. Seems like everything between Silicon Valley and Hollywood is pretty much divided up between existing corporations and existing players. Okay. Space is a trillion dollar industry that is quite open for the players, new people who have a huge capacity, but also don't want to fit in the existing system. I am not interested in being a little of the, you know, the player in the existing configuration. And I left a big corporation in a very high level positions because I do not want to fit in. I also feel that women need to change their tune and stop being empowered because she's a CEO of a public company. Great, fantastic, but you know what? Not good enough because in this role, you are just a highly paid employee, which can be dismissed at any time. I think the women need to be empowered to build their own industry, start their own companies. Worth what a platform! Fifty billion dollars or more. This is the only position that I think can take advantage of our abilities. Uh, I saw this morning a beautiful young lady, uh, Michael's daughter, uh, Vicky, and you know when I looked at her, I know that sh- they need to have a different future than just um, be aspired to what is being still Strength advised ladies, to us. Yes, you can Some do kind it. of you know, s- uh, senior vice president position in a big company. What a cop out. It's such an old story. So space is is a destination for the billion dollars enterprises. The space is wide open and sh- my plans include a uh, California Space Center, but only as a beginning because really there is an industry to be built. And guess what? We don't have to use current currencies. We can go into the Bitcoins, so we don't have to fit into the current okay. financial system. You are cre- okay, you are using so Bitcoins. That's very and under- then interesting. And the last thing, it's uh, terrific to have, like you have incredible daughters. Yes, uh, both of them. I have incredible son, and I'm yes. so you know thrilled. His that name is? Grant Blaisdell. He's an American born in California, but speaks fluent Polish because he is a big patriot. And I am so happy that Grant has a benefit of working with Michael and yes, uh, taking I some very mm-hmm. great He's working great on the Machina project, yes. yes he's uh, fully for devoted years. to Machina because uh, also of the people like Christina and artists who have not been provided a fair share in the revenue streams, either mm. by YouTube or by others. So what, with help of Mike, is being done is an uh, invention of the new distribution platform, which will give artists, actors, musicians control over bigger share of the revenues. Yeah, it seems like music business really needs a help. Nobody can understand and uh, just put together how to save uh, the income for this even smaller artists, especially smaller exactly, artists. Exactly, they are know. totally uh, disempowered, disfranchised. Yeah, no, yeah, they have and we don't know where the money goes. Uh, seems like people are playing or listening oh everywhere. We do. Oh, we yeah. do. It goes uh, to corporations. It I mean goes to the corporations. Yes. We yes. don't yes. want yes. to yes. do yes. that anymore. And I think <laughs> looking yeah. to the future, definitely it has to be changed how we structure the world, how we consume. We consume too fast. I mean, with this consumption level that we have around the world, it's impossible to keep the cities up in the, that speed of development. 
so they'll be polluted, they'll be unhealthy. And, and uh, the smart cities is something that Eva is also working on, is the new idea, right? We will not fly to space, some of us, yes. Yeah. But then we can experience through movie, for, through virtual reality, but basically it's, it's redesigning the world. We can look at the space and think, okay, how would we design it uh, having the chance again? But it's also changing, changing through cities where most of people go, uh, from uh, from rural areas, everyone goes to cities, so we have to uh, we have to start to the fixing. Space, travel Even to LA, look how many times you waste in 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 uh, uh, traveling in the highways. In uh, yeah. everyone has a car here, not one, maybe <laughs> two, maybe three, maybe <laughs> four. It doesn't make sense, but uh, uh, so we have to start from everything, from communication, from from traveling, from moving, and the virtual reality can also save us a lot of. Uh, travel we don't need Here to travel that much we can stay at okay, home okay show and, uh, that's yeah, so yeah. cool well, okay explain us what is this, uh, this christina is, uh, yes we'll be talking right now about virtual reality and you well, being the actor in a future movie that they will be right. producing okay and what is this good. sounds <laughs> good this is, uh, uh, actually produced by samsung uh, which is uh, and i have a samsung galaxy to put it here which allows us to actually experience almost like in real life experience of space because you are mm. now in the dimensional environment which is very much intimate and this is what we are developing the california space center is not just the physicalness of space it is uh, the biggest value is that we are creating virtuality of the space experience which we can drop to the shopping mall we can drop into the university we can drop it even bring it here and then create for incredible uh, talented can artists you close like the door not allowed virtual reality to come ever <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, it's everywhere. Oh my gosh, you I can be everywhere. It, you love it. And then actors can discover and apply a new way of. Uh, you can meeting. rehearse with somebody far away. You can be you just can, anywhere exactly. where you want. Ah! Okay, Christina. Yes. Yes. I love you. Thank you for being so beautifully patient. We already Thank know you. the gorgeous story in some ways because we had a uh, one more show yes. hour ago, Accent On. Everybody can listen to a little bit different uh, stories that we are telling. But you are here for the reason, uh, amazing reason. Yes, actors, this is a dream. This is a vision. This is something that most of people in L.A. want to be or become one time in a lifetime. <laughs> we are in a crazy Los Angeles La La Land. Uh, you have a roots. Uh, you are originally, or oh, your parents are, or grandparents from Italy? Correct, yes, from Italy, yes. Then, uh, not like I'm picking people because they need to have a, a roots, <laughs> but I liked it when I went to check your website, which is? ChristinaDeRosa.com. Then I saw that you love to speak with many uh, accents, yeah. and that's your strength too. But I was just overwhelmed. Um, your PR firm, Charmaine, who was here with Kubaka, you know, another client of her and my very dear friend, very unusual Polish uh, performer who lives in America, she said, I need to meet you. She Aww. thought that is a very nice fit uh, for the show. And then she started sending me uh, the beautiful pictures of yours. And then I saw the great actors next to you. And I'm like, gosh, this girl is doing something <laughs> right in Hollywood. This <laughs> is like you. good story because we always meet people who are already there. Or people who are like, hey, I try, I will, I hope, you know. But you are on a road yes, to I'm somewhere. The 2016 crazy year for Christina. Please just tell me because we love one of the shows that you are in. Tell us a little bit about you, about your, you don't have really past, you are too young for the past. But <laughs> if you have one, you just tell us. But tell us what's going on in 2016 and then you can go a little backward. Absolutely. Okay. Well, we all have a past in my little funny life story is after my first year of college at the Boston Conservatory, I took the expression break a leg literally, and I fell on stage while performing and broke a leg and was told I'll never dance again. I'll Good never luck, we yeah, say. Yeah, break I literally leg. broke a leg. <laughs> so I'm, I'm very, I really take things to heart. <laughs> so <laughs> I took the good. expression break a leg literally. I fell and I broke my leg. I was in a wheelchair. And I was told I'll never dance again. And I was told by this doctor that I had to not go back to the school because I had a full scholarship, Boston Conservatory, singing, dancing, acting. So I took that well. year in a wheelchair. I took that time to study and do other things with my life. And then I decided, okay, well, I'm told I can't dance, so I'm going to focus on acting and film and television. So I'm going to move to California. So I applied to UCLA, USC. I got accepted to UCLA and been here ever since. 
So How many a, years? It's an, amazing, it's an amazing story because it proves that if, you know, sometimes you think there's something down in your life, something that seems like Crushes an obstacle. Crushes you, but there is a beginning of something really great. It's really a miracle in disguise. So it's oh, a blessing it's in disguise. There's a lot of things like that happen to my life. Story. I'm sure we all have <laughs> stories like that. Yes, it's true. So that's but how I how came many to years California. you are here in LA? Uh, long enough to call it home now. That's beautiful. Long enough, and, and now this feels like, yeah. start giving us name of the shows that you will be or you Absolutely. were. Absolutely. Oh, I've man. been in shows like Reno 911, Entourage, Everybody Hates Chris, General Hospital, Dollhouse, Worst Week, I love The it. Whole Truth, uh, tons of TV shows on all different types of networks. And uh, coming up in 2016, I'll be on the TV show Blackish, the ABC Emmy nominated TV show Blackish, playing the role of Nicole. I'm excited about that. Can you tell many. us who is Nicole? Or can you tell us anything about her? Oh, it's a, it's, it's a, oh, I'm a, I'm a very protective mother that is very involved in my child's education and wants everybody else to join the PTA and join all the, all the different, uh, all the different ways you can be involved with your daughter. You understand because you have a daughter. Busy, busy, busy. So yeah, so I'm a. I'm a sweet mom who has lots of time on her hands to do yoga and Pilates and juice LA cleanses. mama. Yeah, I'm a real LA mother. <laughs> in That's my TV life, not in my real life. You seem like a uh, happy human. I am a happy. I believe that you have to have a good spiritual practice. I believe we're spiritual beings, not human beings. I, I chant, I do yoga, I meditate. I think that in this life, just like brushing your teeth is a ritual that you, you do every day, you have to do things for your soul. And yeah. for me, I have to write every day, I have to journal every day, I have to pray every day, and it helps me be a beautiful person inside. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Okay, I, I, may I ask about, do you have time for private life? Private life, sure. I, you do? Of course, we all have to have time You love time somebody? For, we all have to have time for love. Do you love, love somebody? I love everyone. Oh, everyone is a good <laughs> answer. She loves everyone, I love <laughs> Everyone also, I know that Eva, you love one person and the husband is going with you all the way. Yes. Whenever you want to go, he's like, yes, Eva, whatever you say. Yes. He allows you to dream big because to having a partner who yeah. just is with you on the crazy journey to yes. the space land, not easy. How is he with all of these things uh, that are going on? He's incredible. Oh. And we have a quite romantic uh, love story. Oh. And, uh, we like that. We've, uh, uh, he proved to me many times over that he's truly uh, devoted, dedicated, smart, reliable. He, he's never been late for, for wow. picking me up, meeting me. This is perhaps symbolic, but it really matters to some Very important. Me. He's a great looking and <gasps> he's a PhD in computer science. We hate her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we love you. Okay. And he's a great uh, stepfather to my son, Grant, and uh, they have a very good relationship. And uh, also to my new daughter in law, Julia, who is a photographer. I saw the picture from the wedding, the beautiful and Warsaw wedding. Congratulations and again. She's a daughter of a famous Polish actor, Filip Łobodziński, and an incredible mother who is a film producer. So we all are in the uh, same wonderful dreamland and reality uh, place because we want to create something special. You want to be yeah. not forgotten ever by your roles of because course. yes, and I'm sure you have a dream role that you would like to play. We're talking about you also being a singer yes, and, yes. and uh, hoping for some unusual musical role that yes, you can yes. sing and dance and be bigger than life. Yes. yes. The that way be, how it was. That would be the best possible role to be able to be in a movie musical like a Moulin Rouge or something that's a, a remake of West Side Story or a remake of Guys and Dolls where I get to sing, I get to dance, I get to act, I get to do it all. How cool would it be if we have like old movies, old musicals and a virtual reality will allow us to pop us out into between the uh, stage or between all these great actors? and become one of them or yes. do I don't know I, no, sorry I'm space thinking space musical space musical wow being this oh, or wow. space opera is this is you know we have a great composer in Poland well they did I worked on last year I worked on astronaut wives club no oh. come on yeah the ABC okay TV okay show. we are narrowing down maybe yeah. we'll really really sign Which the contracts really here that's the closest okay. I've gotten yeah. <laughs> right. I, we are in Hollywood we know so many wonderful people we know so many wonderful places. like I mentioned a week ago I had Natalia Lazarus from uh, conservatory arts conservatory from uh, Santa Monica she knows you I, I, before even I 
I knew you, I'm working with this theater for international actors. Then now I met you through Charmaine, who brought Polish artists cool, to huh? my show. Ah! <laughs> now I have Eva two years ago, who was yeah. just not even dreaming, because I don't think so you dream. You set your oh, mind yeah. on something and go for it. Mm. But the space, opening the space, unusual uh, theme. I can also theme entertainment park. I don't know if you can create like Disneyland for the space uh, place. It's like calling Disney. it Cosmopolis, like especially because of the smart cities concept. And yeah, so but people need to understand more. that this is because when you say space and yeah, program is serious. Yes, no, it, no, no, it's, it's just like future. ride, ride to somewhere that yeah. we loved before, and we need to go crazy one more time. And now we have this very brainy gentleman, very courage gentleman, gen gentleman who owns a lot of newspapers, speaks the truth, politically incorrect and correct, whatever he decides to. Yeah. Um, and a uh, wealthy gentleman, young man with beautiful daughter, one or two. One daughter, 11. She's really beautiful and cute and You will bring her and, next uh, next Monday? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Please. But, but she will take over the show. I mean, she <laughs> we want that. That's what Eva says. And, uh, it's just, so you know, she, sky is the limit. Oh, yeah. She's taken all the worst from me and, and the mother. And uh, I have beautiful wife as well, and uh, Kasia works with me um, hard. So, so, so she started the company with me. I can say oh. I employed her as the first chief editor of my first magazine. Oh, so that's, that's how we worked first, and then fell in love. And uh, oh. it, it's really uh, a movie. How many years movie ago? Life story. Oh, it was. Uh, was 20 years uh, ago oh, now. That's beautiful. Uh, so, yeah, we, and we spend a lot of time. And uh, having one child, be a beautiful wife and husband, uh, everybody works together. Your yes. son, who is part of your company, part of Machine, part of Space Program. You know, uh, we know that uh, you and I, we love everybody. <laughs> then it's also, we believe in working together. We believe in uh, the goodwill. And of course, that, that people who like each other and are excited about the same things, they create the best as team okay yes i am a mother everybody knows <laughs> natasha mira works for Lionsgate, uh, in very good next to very important boss and uh, she's all about movies and hopefully this is some connection because Lionsgate was the hottest in a production company in the world right now with hunger's game and all of this big people who are here next door and then another daughter which i mentioned sometimes she's uh, shy but very brainy doctor degree music musicology doctor she has her own uh, platform that is called mea cultura and this is a newspaper who uh, puts focus on a culture in poland and something what we are talking that was very important she tries to bring to the front and uh, her foundation uh, that is called uh, mea cultura is right now working on a campaign that is called Save the Music, which I had no idea who is coming to my show. Yeah, I knew who is coming, but how deeply we really are involved in very similar topic because Save the Music and all the culture people and half English, of course, will be written in half English, is already in the making that I, like as a uh, mother, I'm of course plugging my child right away. Mm -hmm. This is a straight plug to both of you. And hopefully something amazing will happen because you mentioned that you saw the logo of my daughter's uh, Mea Cultura newspaper which makes me so proud that when I tell her that she'll be very happy she works three years on this project your son on a, a machine works for two years right now and sometimes days are probably like that that young people think uh, will never happen you know it's so much to do and not so many people want to help especially with money because we are talking about people Everybody wants to do something, have ideas, and but then you need somebody to bring, give you a money and say, now you need to go up. How you deal with money, uh, raising money, mm -hmm. finding money? I, I know you are wealthy, I know you are wealthy, but it's not enough of wealth for all of this amazing project mm -hmm. that you want to put into life. Then how? How you are looking, what door you are knocking mm -hmm. uh, to? I to don't just think say so. It's, uh, it's about money. Money is the factor of success. So once okay. you once you have a vision, once you connect your vision and passion and what you do, the money is coming. Uh, the money is coming. I, I mean, love yeah, this. Uh, it's really Everybody easy. Everybody says And to tell you different. because you mentioned how how small t is the world, how how we are connected, and we actually all play in the movie, the movie called Life. Mm. Yes. So once we play it well, we 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 fight for for the best. Uh, the world is small. I started my business in uh, twenty years ago. And you know the start was very difficult uh, with uh, the two thousand dollars, a thousand that I lost. So one thousand yeah. <laughs> in my pocket, I couldn't afford a computer. 
Well, yeah. I, I asked my university to, to, to give me one of the computers that the university was given by Eva. Eva was the, the CEO of Compaq, Compaq for, for yes. Eastern Europe. So she sponsored many universities giving what the... What a the tie. It's yeah. like grammar so and you and have no idea. And we've just, you know, we know each other for two years now, but we've missed like a, a week uh, from the time she was in my high uh, my university giving the computer. So a week later, I became a student and I got the computer oh. that she sponsored to the That's university. So beautiful. And that, that That's a beautiful uh, story. Two years ago, right? Yes, so that's so amazing. That's, that's a beautiful <laughs> story. Thank you for sharing it. You made me run. I feel extremely... Yeah, we uh, forgot to mention moved. that you were working in Silicon Valley and, and you were really <laughs> on the top of level. One of those women yeah. who just run a lot of important business and, and money know, decisions for really the company. I appreciate that Michael is giving my son an opportunity to practice and work on something like Mahina with such a legacy, yeah. especially that Grant, just like I, decided that he doesn't want to work for the corporation. He worked for Hulu, which is one of the best mm. uh, brands here in town, but he, just like all of us, He's looking in our own destiny and uh, he I don't know I created this radio that was an idea seven years ago in my head I always believed uh, that uh, accented people people like us are bringing to this country something so special and sometimes we are not pushy enough to speak out about mm -hmm. our life story and but uh, we are doing our life our ways yes. I think a lot of uh, friends because I never met a really mean human being in this country Please, uh, never, hopefully, <laughs> ever. But, you know, uh, but dreams are big. Like, And I'm so happy, uh, Michael, that you are saying that, yeah, money will come. You and you build interest in infrastructure. In fr when you start building something from your dream, yeah. and then you just need to not maybe thinking where the money is, where the money is, eventually will land on your lap. Yeah. And, you know, you need to, if they build, they'll come. You're building something bigger in life. You are Prost, a very big newspaper, one of three that you own. And uh, the same with you, with your dream. I, I'm like, you know, being an actor in Hollywood, a working actor, young, gorgeous actor who just broke her leg because you wanted to be a dancer and you needed to reestablish yourself and take a chance on your talent and don't question, will I make it? You just do what you want to do you don't question yourself and i think a lot of young people especially in america they question themselves too much or everything is is uh, questioned by your parents mm -hmm. are you sure you want to do this maybe that's safer why do you want to do this mm -hmm. or that it's a tough and a lot of my friends asking me ilona how do you do all of this you know so many people <laughs> who are from this country they will not do it i don't know i'm not asking myself yeah. how why i'm just doing i'm just doing this and next day another push another idea another something I j but you need to be uh, your word need to mean something your well i think word. when you're doing what you love in life it doesn't feel like work it just feels like your passion your love your heart yeah 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 and it doesn't feel like work then okay then what next i know <laughs> the march march for you is something or maybe a little bit later is something well, crazy well, but bringing concert it's, it's to the I think that the entire idea of creating a Burning Man concept around space where there will be a v event organized where people can come and truly... A uh, little closer to microphone, I'm worried that people you. cannot hear you. Uh, so, but I also want to share with you my odyssey, my journey that actually I am awakening a city that has been asleep hmm. for over, you know, almost 30 years. Hmm a city called uh, Lompoc that has been sitting on the piece of land uh, given by President Reagan, who was very dedicated to space, president, and still very yeah. much remembered in our country, Poland, because he was the one who really challenged Soviets, together with President Wałęsa and John Paul II. So anyway, I've been uh, engaged in this quest uh, to motivate city of Lompoc, to influence, to impact, to drive city of Lompoc to uh, enter into the worthwhile arrangement with me to build the space center on the piece of land that was granted for this particular purpose also because city of Lompoc has the highest unemployment mm. in the, this particular job. area people children yesterday i was in city of Lompoc meeting with the high school students 
whom I am sponsoring, mentoring, because they see a hope in my action that they just might have a job. They might not have to leave Lompoc. And they have a big dreams, just like all of us, but no place to take it, because the leadership mm. of the Lompoc is, for whatever reason, we'll not discuss it here, somehow you know, tied into this action and no action. So my quest to, to receive this land is still going on. This is a typical thing that happens whenever you want to change uh, a status quo. And I would just want to add that I am not alone in it. And you were asking about money, and it is in our country. Yeah. And also, like uh, Michael was saying, um, and you too, Christina, if you have a mission, passion, which is sincere, big, you can be supported by not only individuals, but also big corporations. So I am aimed in a consortium of the companies that I have created, who despite of the fact that I started as a single entrepreneur, I have commitments from companies like Bechtel, like Sony, like IMAX, and many others to help and build the California Space Center with me. Only if city of Lompoc will have It's just overwhelming. I, I, I know it comes so easily uh, from you. It's, this is so hard work, uh, so much brain work, so much being probably afraid if, uh, are you bringing right people to the table? Are they really understand what you want to achieve? With uh, Michael coming from Poland and now setting your food into LA and uh, everything what you are doing being part of it and the vision is bigger than life we're talking about this what a chance is this and have a, of, of course the virtual reality when you say hollywood <laughs> that's the one they want to go yes, right now it, the absolutely. money is really tied into developing this type of technology it's a bigger than life and we are talking accent on tv the best of poland and europe and the rest <laughs> of the world these things are happening, and we are talking not the round table, which we didn't mention yet. I really want to come back to this wonderful idea of uh, talking and bringing people together, their ideas, and that was your ideas and very old ideas from Poland many, many, right. many hundreds of years ago. But fact is, if we don't talk, if we don't spread the word, if we don't find people who want to think like us and they just like challenge and like the futuristic way of thinking, all of these uh, people, what life is about you know it's just life and life need to be ah life 2016 <laughs> yay that's what we will uh, dream for everybody you know just get this blood going you know in the right direction what is the round table meetings all right the round table comes from from the polish round table as, as poland went through communist time to to free market economy it was very difficult to change the system, right? And as I mentioned with the uh, President Reagan, who was very involved in, in challenging Soviets, that, that they let go uh, the iron curtain to, to, to disappear. So once it happened, then, then Poland disputed uh, in the country between the communists and the, the, the people who fight it in, in solidarity as a movement. So what we did instead of disputing, instead of fighting on streets, we, we, we've been sitting to this huge round table we, which fitted around 50 or 60 people and they talked until until they agreed on something. Of course, for Poles, it, the round table is very squared. We know the details, we know it from close, so so we understand the compromises that had to be taken. But looking for, from a distance from, from US, it, it's the most beautiful thing that happened. So with the t today's problem where, where U.S. quite often goes to, to, to fights, to wars, and uh, most of the nation, most of the people don't want it, right? Of course, it's big business behind it. Uh, the politics is, is great business for some people. Uh, so, so instead of going to wars, you know, people sh should sit at the table oh. and discuss yeah. and understand the difference of culture uh, and that, uh, that there is no, no such a thing a, a, as the truth because we can look at things and uh, Different side yeah, mining right. our, our uh, background, our, uh, how we were raised, what was our ex experience, we can simply talk about the same thing in two different languages, looking at the same color and disputing if it's yellow or green. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, we can differ different on that. So we, ha we have to understand it. And, uh, and I think invite young people to uh, a yes. lot of young brain exactly. who want to be giving the uh, power and the brain sometimes for nothing, just for the right yeah. to be part of something bigger, big. And I think yeah. a lot of people who already have 
all figure out they're afraid of bring new blood to their tables because they can steal some comfort level and i love that you are so young i love that what you are saying you're taking risk probably on lots of young people oh yeah true and what what we did with the roundtable meetings that that uh, i've created is bringing young people to small roundtable mix yeah. uh, meetings but they uh, there are speeches so uh, depending on the subject but they are short they're only 12 minutes plus five minutes for questions and then uh, people have to change their tables, so so they interact with each other. And mm. we bring always politicians, business people, and media people. Uh, and quite often those people don't want to meet uh, because media don't want to meet politicians <laughs> openly. They always question. <laughs> then politicians don't want to be what uh, if they like business each other? not to be, be accused surprising. of corruption. <laughs> so we mix those people, and it's always oh, uh, it. th- the key factor is that we bring young people, meaning young meaning with their professional career started, so it's always around 30 to 40, uh, and then we b- bring some uh, some uh, people with more experience so they can mix, interact, and, and, and go mentoring. quicker. Yeah, yeah, mentoring on networking. Good for you, wow. I really uh, hope um, the time is already, uh, by gosh, the time goes so fast here in the, uh, on the show, but I'm hoping that we we'll see each other m- next Monday, and we'll be talking a little bit more because it's the scary things about the tapes and stuff. Wow, that's so hot. And we'll talk more about space uh, program. I don't want to forget uh, to invite Christina when 2016 clicks and you will be on TV. I just want you to back because now we will talk about your role. We'll talk about Natalie. Natalie, that's her name? Nicole. Nicole, sorry. Nicole. And uh, just I want to know what is the next Absolutely. in your life. I won't believe that you'll be singing, that your dream will happen you'll be on a big stage everybody please go to my links that i have on the facebook because we see uh your reel and some of live performing uh also which that's what you are talking about the musical style and it will be pop i'm just reaching out for this crazy uh, beautiful book will be signing but um if you see a poster like that you come and join New Year party with us. Aww. He's in Resida, and we have unusual mm. Austrian uh, um, saxophone player will be with us. Uh, DJs, great, from Poland and from Sweden. I probably will sing something <laughs> if I want to, uh, um, but I will. And I don't know who will come, but we have probably more than 100 people right now. And who knows? Uh, if you wish, you can come. If you don't, have a beautiful 2016 I would like to give your uh, website one more time. Yes, it's ChristinaDeRosa.com. ChristinaDeRosa.com. And find you on every social media. Yes, you can. My website will take you to Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, all of it. And when it comes to our very, very smart gentleman, uh, we are so proud to have you representing our country and now world. Uh, then, Michael. You are available, Mike, uh, on the tweet? Yeah, social media, no problem. And uh, anyway, you will find me LinkedIn, uh, Facebook, Twitter. It's Michael Lisiecki, L-I-S-I-E-C-K-I. Uh, yeah, you can me. also contact me if you really want maybe a little bit faster answer, and I will see... No, I will just send it to <laughs> a call or whatever, Eva. And uh, we want to know how to get into the center, space center. Yes, how I have a Facebook, um, Eva Blaisdell, and Twitter, and also California Space Center Facebook. And there are several Facebooks launched by supporters of California Space Center a community in uh, uh, Santa Barbara County that really wants my center to happen there and not somewhere else. And CaliforniaSpaceCenter.com, our website. And you will be back because I know that March is coming and things are coming. I'm hoping you will meet uh, amazing people that I Thank uh, you would so love much. To. You've been incredible, Ilona, oh. bringing people oh. like us together oh. and How being could an I incredible not host. Just, <laughs> I love you all. And I love that I have this show and I love that I can show the faces of these gorgeous, beautiful people and myself too. Not so bad looking <laughs> uh, today, I hope. And happy end of the year. And we'll see each other on Monday. Hopefully one more time. You can come too if you wish, because we have so nothing much. better to do. Thank you want you. to hang out with us? It's always chair for you. Thank I love you. you, people. Happy New Thank Year, you. everyone. Happy Bye. New Year. Bye. 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 You're listening to Accent on TV. Best of Poland and Europe, right here on LA Talk Radio.